This video demonstrates a technique for knotless ripstop repair. This is an alternative to a triple loaded single row repair. Two inverted mattress sutures are placed in the rotator cuff, a fiber tape and a tiger tape. Next, a fiber link suture is passed medial to each of those. We usually place these one at a time, that is place the tape and then place the fiber link and then take those sutures out to the side and then place the second tiger tape and then fiber link. Then those sutures are secured into a bone socket in the humeral head. This is usually with a 5.5 swivel lock anchor and there's your final repair. You can see there's the same number of passes as a single row triple loaded repair. But it has the benefits of a rip stop. This is a right shoulder now viewed from a posterior viewing portal. So we have a limited tendon stump. That is there is tendon loss, which is often the case in massive rotator cuff tears. We've already performed a biceps tendesis anteriorly and repaired the subscapularis tendon. We take those sutures from the biceps tendesis and tie those down anteriorly to reinforce the rotator cable. And now we're going to move to our rip stop. The tiger tape is introduced and passed in an anagrade fashion. The second limb is passed to complete the inverted mattress suture. A fiber link suture is then passed medial to those sutures. The cinch is then created and those sutures are retrieved out of another cannula. And then place a second inverted mattress suture and a fiber link medial to that to create our knotless rip stop. Then we simply take these out laterally and complete our repair. We use the cannulas to guide to determine the location for our bone socket. Bone socket is created, then we can insert our 5.5 biocomposite swivel lock anchor. One step that's not shown here is we typically will create bone vents in the tuberosity with a small punch to encourage biological healing. When removing that punch, we like to hold the cannula in place so we can then take the anchor straight down to the bone socket. The slack is removed as the eyelet is inserted into the bone socket. Once all that slack is removed, the anchor is impacted into place until the threads of the anchor engage the bone itself. The anchor then can be twisted and advanced down the shaft to the eyelet. This is a vented anchor, also to encourage biological healing. And the limbs are cut short. We then repeat the process anteriorly, incorporating the tiger tapes and the fiber link suture anteriorly. And this completes our knotless ripstop repair. Low profile knotless repair for poor quality tissue.